unbelievable. 45 minutes to go 11 blocks. 45 minutes. Not to mention I almost killed the cab driver. You know what? I'm all for immigration, but we got to give them a copy of the Constitution and some deodorant. <laughs> and that's your excuse for being late? Excuse me, I don't need an excuse. I'm the boss. You see, I'm the boss here. Now, I know your people have a hard time working for a woman. No, not really. Oh, tell the truth. Yes, especially a black woman. What do you mean, especially a black woman? Yeah, but you, you, you black women, you're so bossy. You know, do this, do that. Oh, I'm going to tell my man what to do. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We're not bossy. If you want bossy, you ought to try getting a manicure from one of them little Korean women. <laughs> yeah. Your nail don't grow, get out. Your nail don't grow, get out. <laughs> Shanakwa, well, what is that? It's Yadaviga. Whatever. What the hell is that? <laughs> I lost a bet, so I am his slave for a day. Never get into a belching contest with a pig. Hey, who are you calling pig, you handy wipe? <laughs> Did you change your hair? Yes, I'm curling the ends now. I like it. It's bouncing. It's sweet. It's nice. <laughs> You're so sweet. Excuse me. Hello? You, take the can outside. You, come over here and tell me what the hell's going on. Black women. <laughs> Just making sure there's nothing suspicious on the sidewalk when the president drives by. The president's in town? what they do, open a hooters down here? <laughs> That's why the traffic is so bad. I've got some tragic news. What? The donut shop is completely blocked off. I ain't worried about that, child. Because I got a whole stash of donuts in the back, don't I, Nassim? <laughs> Nassim! Nassim! Whoop! <laughs> Mavis, have you seen my lemon yogurt? Yeah, I ate it. But I put my name on it. I know, I ate it anyway. Mavis, your petty selfishness is not going to ruin my special day. I'm going to see the presidential motorcade drive by. Do you like my tie? It's blue in honor of him. You know he likes blue ties. Courtney, it ain't like he's going to see you. You're just going to be another black and blue blur. Can I just enjoy my president in peace? Fine. I'm just saying, I find it quite annoying that he's stopping traffic and blocking it all up, acting like he's some kind of big shot. He's the president. According to whose ballot box? You didn't complain when President Clinton stopped traffic. That's because when he stopped traffic, he stopped it for the people. What? That's insane. Listen. Bill Clinton was the first president that even had a hint of color. He hung out in Harlem, played the saxophone, and when you touch that hair, it has a little bit of texture. And he likes white women. <laughs> That's what you think. Mavis, don't you think it's a bit shallow to like someone just because they act black? Yo, boo! Let's bounce. W's about to bust out 56. Come in, Cupcake. Shall I tell him you said hello? Hell no. You could tell him to stop by the U.N. No, and apologize to Europe, starting with France. If you're so concerned, why don't you tell the president yourself? You think they're going to let me get within 50 feet of him? Let me tell you something. I don't give a fudgeicle, because I speak my mind. Yeah, you preach it, my bossy Nubian queen. It's easy to say you'd speak your mind when you know you'll never get the chance. Like when we were kids and you boasted about what you would have told the slave masters had you been alive. Yeah, I would have told them to kiss my black ass. I hear that. I would have said the same thing. But the point is, she didn't have to. And the truth is, she would have said what every slave said back then. Yes, massa, and no, massa. Why, you know you's probably right. But I think y'all better take your behinds outside because Master fixing to go by and not wave to you. Don't listen to her, Courtney. She's just being ironical and stuff. You're right. Let's bounce. Ironical and stuff?
emergency. We need to use your facilities. And who are you? Sir, the President of the United States needs to use your facilities. Now, where are they? Down the hall, down the hall. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Down the door, down the door. Sir, the president appreciates your cooperation. Oh my God, I can't believe it. The president on our pissoir? <laughs> I mean, I've heard of White House leaks, but this is fantastic. Is, is, is he really, I mean, is he really? Sir, we're having a situation. Yeah. Are you having a situation or a stand evasion? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's so incredibly exciting. It's, it, is, there anything, is there anything I can do? Can I help? I don't think so, sir. Oh, okay. No, I'm, of course, of course. I'm sure he has everything in hand. <laughs> Stand back, sir. <laughs> Mavis, Mavis. What? I have something to tell you. Don't tell me you sold the hotel. Uh, you have a very special guest using your bathroom. Really? Who is it? I'll give you one guess. Okay. You're not the boss, I'm not the boss, but he is definitely the boss. <laughs> No! Yes! No! no! Don't tell me Springsteen's in my bathroom! Oh, my God! Oh, my God, Bruce is here, the boss is here. Oh, wait, wait, how do I look? He can't see me looking like this. I look like a dog. No, Where's my lipstick at? Where's my lipstick? Mavis, 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 Mavis. When I oh, said the boss, I actually oh, mean... I just, where's my lipstick? I mean, oh, listen to me, listen to me! I'm a B-O-E. Hello, y'all. <laughs> I am Mavis Ray. I run the Hotel Le Mans, where the very rich and very famous come to stay and play. <laughs> Miss Ray, are you a supporter? Oh, yes, child. I'm as big as fan. Why did he come in here? Has he stayed here before? Well, you know, a good hotelier does not kiss and tell, girl. <laughs> are you intimating that you've had an affair with the president? Well, I wouldn't say affair per se. I... <laughs> The president. Excuse me. <laughs> Bush is in my can? That's what, that's what I'm trying to tell you. The president is here in your toilet now. Well, go get him out. Oh, yeah, right. An Iranian immigrant telling the president to go. You know? Why? Why don't they just run around the airport and shout, Yad Jihad! Holy war! Holy war! <laughs> Go get him out of there myself. I can't believe he's in there doing to my bathroom what he's done to the economy. Don't leave it, leave it. 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 Love, oh my baby. Don't then there's an instrumental go. Do let's a do let's break that's a but let's a day. Okay, okay, I'm going. I'm going. Listen, Miss Ray, as far as I'm concerned, you're a national treasure. How about a picture? Let's go, let's go. That's great. Let's go, let's go. Thank you. Mr. President, what do you Thank you. Mr. President, what do you want? And don't even think about coming back. He was here. He was actually in here and I missed him. He was standing right here talking to his good friend, Mavis Ray. <laughs> he is not my good friend and I kicked him out of here. Girl, you don't kick the president to the curb just because you ain't feeling him. Now that's just straight up rude. <laughs> Excuse me, are you a Republican too? Uh-uh, I'm an independent. I don't vote. <laughs> Mavis, I hope you didn't say something incendiary. Look, I can't hide my feelings, you know? If I got a problem with you, you're gonna know it. <coughs> Bull crap. <laughs> you know, you might wanna have that cough looked at. Sounds like you could be coming down with a small case of unemployment. Well, what exactly did you say? Because I don't wanna... <clears throat> I don't wanna talk about it anymore. I spoke my mind and that's that. Come quick, maybe this is on television. <laughs> Turn it 
up. I can't hear. Turn it up. Then the motorcade stopped in front of the Lamont Hotel, where owner Mavis Ray, a supporter of the president... I am not a supporter of his. I don't know where to get this. Oh, yes, girl. I'm his biggest fan. Now, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. That's... A, never mind. It's a... After the two <laughs> sang together... Oh, no, you didn't! <laughs> The president and one-hit wonder Ray pose. One-hit wonder? Those bastards. Those cloudy. accurate bastards. <laughs> Turn it off. Now I know why Elvis used to shoot the TV. <laughs> Look, I'm really upset about this. I, I just feel so violated. That man had his pants down in my hotel. <laughs> Big deal. A guy had his pants down in my diner last week. It was the biggest tip I saw all day. <laughs> now, I don't need to know any more than that. I don't know why you're in such a huff. Haven't many of the guests in your hotel been Republicans? I don't know. It's the party party. <laughs> what are you smoking now? <laughs> don't ask, don't tell. Good morning, Mavis. Or should I say, Condoleezza? <laughs> or even better, Mavaliza. <laughs> you see, I combined Mavis with Condoleezza and I arrived you at... You say one more word, I'm gonna put my foot in your axis of evil. <laughs> Mavis, you got a whole bunch of uh, junk mail. This came in by messenger. The White House? Oh, please. Wait, you can't throw that out. It might be from the president. You're right. It could be his letter of resignation. Mavis! Just open the blessed letter. Fine, fine. Dear Miss Ray, you and a guest are cordially invited to a party honoring the president at the Regency Hotel. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is incredible. I can't breathe. Mavis, you have to take me along. I'm not going. Not going? Are you kidding me? This is a chance of a lifetime. You have to go. I don't have to do anything. You go. Really? But this is non-transferable. Oh. <laughs> Too bad. How could you be so callous? You know this means a lot to me. Do you know how rare this opportunity is? Yeah, black people hardly ever get to meet the president unless they won the NBA Finals. <laughs> Mavis, please don't make me beg. It's unseemly. Oh, this whole conversation is unseemly. I mean, I don't understand this. What's the fascination? Look at you. You're unemployed. You've been screwed by big business. Tell me, what have the Republicans done for you? Well, for one, they freed the slaves. You had to go back 140 years to find that. Well, what have the Democrats given us besides a welfare state that keeps people in a cycle of poverty? Well, for starters, if it wasn't for the Democrats, it would still be illegal for you and your white girlfriend to have sex. Yes, but doesn't illegal make it more exciting? <laughs> there's the Voting Rights Act, there's the Civil Rights Act, and affirmative action. President Bush exercised the best kind of affirmative action. He appointed blacks based on their merit, like Colin Powell and Condoleezza Rice. Oh, great. So that's two hired. What happens to the other 37 million of us? What, we gotta take a ticket? There's 37 million of you? No wonder I'm afraid to take the subway. What? You don't take a plane, I don't take a train. Mavis, mother and father taught us that hard work, persistence, and education were the keys to success. I don't need a handout. Thank you very much. Oh, I forgot uh, your unemployment check came in. Thank you very much. Mom and Dad also taught us that there was no shame in asking for help if you needed it. Then for God's sake, please help me. I need this. Oh, look, look, look. It says here that you get uh, personal time with the president. They're giving her FaceTime? Jeez Louise, this is unheard of. What is, uh, what is FaceTime? FaceTime is precious one-on-one -on -one time with the president. One-on-one -on -one time? Yes. I can say anything I want? Anything. <laughs> OK. <laughs> We'll go. Mavis, isn't this great? What are you doing? I've never seen you this loose. You've never seen me around my people. God help me. Look, there's a CEO from ICT. BFD. 
I'm going to take you my business card. Good. Mavis, I really want to thank you for doing this. I know it's not easy for you. You don't know the half of it. I just want to ask you one favor. Yeah. Please don't say anything mean to the president. Excuse me, you begged me to come here and speak my mind. No, I begged you to bring me here so I could meet my hero. Your hero? Isn't a hero someone who does something courageous, something amazing? Mavis, you're starting. All I'm saying is you don't have to speak your mind tonight. Could you just do that for me? Well, if that's going to be the case, I'm going to need something stronger than this. It's okay here, right? Hell yeah. I'm sponsoring this event. Al Stevens, chairman of the Tobacco Council. Halle! My man! Yeah! Listen, Hal, don't let them bastards get you down. You just keep doing what you do. All right, All right. Halle. <laughs> Do me a favor, send me a couple of free cards. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. You're just so cute. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you Mavis Ray? Yes, I am. Oh, I thought so. Can I just say that my husband and I are big fans of yours? Big. Oh, thank you. Do you think we could get an autograph? Oh, absolutely. You know, most of us have to stay in the closet, if you know what I mean. No, actually, I don't. You know, I'm, I'm not gay. <laughs> oh, no! A Republican! African-American Republican. Republican? Yes, girl, when you came out, we said, you go, girl. <laughs> Did you? Yes. Well, let me tell you something, and I want this to be very clear for you. Black Republicans make about as much sense to me as Jews for Jesus. <laughs> Would you still like to have my autograph? Well, excuse me. You know what your problem is, Ms. Ray. No, what is it? We're in power, and you don't like it. You don't like it. <laughs> okay, okay, you want to back the black parrot up off me? Oh, you got some nerve. My husband is no parrot. No parrot. Parrot? <laughs> Mavis, for God's sake, what's going on here? Is there a problem? No, there's no problem with me. But uh, Clarence and Anita... Oh! <laughs> I'm going to take you to the president in just a moment. This terrible woman gets to see the president? Yeah, I do. I get FaceTime with him. Now, I don't want you to be mad at me, because y'all are down here in the fields, and I'm going up to the big house. Oh, oh Mavis. I I'm so sorry. She has a condition. That's oh, obvious. Okay. Miss Ray, I think that maybe you'd better run your comments by me before we go in. No, I don't think so. I'm, I'm fine with her. OK. You know, some people get kind of nervous when they talk to the president. Well, I'm sure that's true. But I talk to him all the time when he's on TV. Don't let her go in there. She's going to trash the president. This woman is psycho. Who you calling psycho with a bad weave on? Oh, you got some nerve talking about somebody's hair. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm talking about me. Oh, I'm all about that, I will talk to your now? ass all the way across the The president is the other way. Oh, I don't know this woman, I swear. I'm a Republican. Oh, I will snatch that weave off your head. Hey, Jordan Courtney. Come on now, pick up your lip. You're the one that begged me to go. I know. But you didn't have to make a scene. It's always about Mavis. Maybe it was my condition. <laughs> Obviously, you didn't hear what that woman said to me. I just did what I had to do, that's all. You don't understand. I haven't found a job. I'm living with my sister. I have virtually zero water pressure in my shower. <laughs> And this is the one thing I had to look forward to in a very long time. Oh, come on, Courtney. I understand all that. But hey, you know, you and I are different. I'm not like you. Somebody gets under my skin, I just have to take care of business. That's all there is to it. I mean, think about it. You ought to try it sometime. You know what? What? You're right. Let me tell you something, Mavis. When we were kids, you always bossed and pushed me around. Courtney... You're talking too much. Courtney, I'm changing the channel. Courtney, boys don't play with dolls. <laughs> well, for your information, G.I. Joe was an action figure. <laughs> and a patriot. And you don't understand why I'm a Republican? Well, one of the reasons was because I didn't want to be like you. 
Wow. That felt great. <laughs> Thanks. Courtney. G.I. Joe had no balls. <laughs> God, I'm a libertarian. No on taxes, but they want to make marijuana legal. And yes, on and I screwed it up. <laughs> when you touch that hair, child, it's got a little tincture of <laughs> That man came into my hotel with his pants. <laughs> uh, did you say action? Whoopee. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>